What is up you guys, and this is your daily dose of cringe. And I'm your host, Priming. This group of furries is vandalizing a guy's car to protest climate change. I guess you really showed that guy. And are you guys screaming there's no excuse for animal abuse while you vandalize somebody's vehicle? I guess there's an excuse for that? This African American woman is mad that there's too many white people in her class. Public service announcement. Excuse me. If y'all didn't know, this is the MSC and frankly they're just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color. Yikes, I thought we were past segregation and we're moving away from stuff like this. Apparently you're fighting against racism by promoting segregation? Yeah, okay, that'll work. So just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here. It's only been open for four days. It makes you POCs really uncomfortable to see too many white people. Yikes. Do they not realize they are exactly what they're fighting against? It's honestly really sad that a lot of colleges promote stuff like this these days. Martin Luther King would be rolling in his grave. I'm going to tell my grandkids this was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Oh no 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 no. If you guys don't know who this is, this is adult film star Mia Khalifa. Quite the striking resemblance if I do say so myself. Check out this hilarious Ben Shapiro Fox interview. And Ben Shapiro, editor-in-chief of The Daily Wire. These are called the nacho fries. Because, in a literal sense, they're nacho fries. They're mine. I bought them. And that's why they're in my possession for the review. Okay, <laughs> whoever made that is clearly a genius. So I guess if you speed up Review Bra's speech, he sounds like Ben Shapiro. This guy's Pokemon is evolving into something potentially racially insensitive. My Nicket. Nicket's evolving. Into what? A Thievel. Wait, Nicket turned into Thievel? Oh no 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 no, Pokemon, what have you done? Maybe it's just a coincidence, you guys. I mean, c come on, they, they, they wouldn't actually do that, would they? And it's a dark type Pokemon. Okay, dude. Oh, oh no. Japan better watch out because the left is not going to be happy about this. I don't know, you guys. It's it's still probably just a coincidence. He wants to. Okay. He wants to. They're piling it on. Thievel wants to learn to move thief. Are you serious right now? Uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, Pokemon, okay. But to be honest, I don't think Pokemon did anything wrong here. I think this guy's, like, reaction is just making it seem a little bit extra than it actually is. But regardless, it's still pretty funny. <laughs> well, I don't know why that's funny. I mean, did you have any in-person briefings? <laughs> Remember how I took down the binary bathroom signs at my old job when I left? Guess who's permanently banned from setting foot on the property again? Guess which manager that always referred to me as a man made the call? Guess who found out at the company Friendsgiving? I mean, what did you expect? You stole their bathroom signs just because you were triggered by them. So you got fired, that's what happens. This group of furries is getting ready to celebrate the Midwest Fur Fest. And things are getting a little out of hand. Live at the Midwest Fur Fest in Rosemont, Illinois, figuring out what the fur is going on. Going? Shout out to Antifa. Respect our troops. Any win against Tom Brady is a win to defeat racism. Furries, do not f with Kamala Harris. Bernie, 2020, Bernie or Ryan. So furries don't f with Kamala Harris, eh? Well, let's be real. I think you could speak for everybody on that one. I don't think anybody liked Kamala Harris. Blair White tried to have a meetup and these protesters showed up and ruined the party. Oh my, this person has some serious problems. Imagine just trying to go to a meetup with your favorite YouTuber and then people like this show up. 
Yikes, I feel really bad for the people that flew all the way over to Los Angeles just to see this event. The left is truly losing sight of reality. Oh no, Hillary is back. This is just a plug for my Instagram, you guys. If you guys are interested in this type of content, make sure to go follow my Instagram. Link in the description. This social justice warrior is mad that this black man is wearing a Trump hat. Think about your hat and the way it makes people feel because it incites fear in all those around us. Every person is afraid of that hat. I am afraid of that hat. Um, you really shouldn't be afraid of a hat. Like, being offended by it is one thing, but being afraid of it? I think you might need to reevaluate things. As a human being, you should pay attention to fear and not logic. Wait, wait, you said pay attention to fear and not logic? Yeah, emotions no, is one removed from spirit. Um, apparently emotions are more real than facts? I don't know, is this lady trying to meme on the whole facts don't care about your feelings thing? The problem is, she didn't seem like she was memeing, she seemed pretty serious. I really hope she wasn't serious, but if she was, she needs to rethink her life. I like what Sweeney is saying, to be honest. The industry should be more accepting of both conservative viewpoints and liberal viewpoints. No need to polarize the space. User banned permanently. Troll account. Oh yeah, clearly the guy was trolling. Clearly. No, Hillary Clinton, stop it! This is from my Instagram account, you guys, so if you like this, make sure to go follow me there. Here we have Beto Arup just being a normal guy like the rest of us. Well, uh, Cynthia, I'm changing the tire on this truck. Gee, golly, it's, it's a wonder why nobody supported this guy, isn't it? I mean, he seems like such a relatable and genuine person. Like, what, what happened? Hmm. Who knows? Better luck next time, Beto. These social justice warriors are bullying a man for not being oppressed enough. Right here. No, we're we're gonna say right here. This is our spot, which is hate fucking free. Last I was aware, this is the Boston Commons. The Boston Commons is a hate free spot. Um. Uh, uh, apparently, the Boston Commons is a hate free spot. You guys. I, I didn't know that. I mean, I, I really should have figured that one out. These people were being so peaceful. Clearly, it was like obvious. Duly noted for next time, though. The Boston Commons is a hate-free spot. When have you been oppressed? When? When? Never. 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 When I was growing up in middle and elementary oh, school. Oh, oh no, they're laughing at the guy for not being oppressed enough. Ah, yikes. The oppression Olympics are getting rough out here. I guess that'll really teach this guy a lesson for invading a hate-free location. I bet he'll think twice about that next time. This lady's mad that people are roasting her for being a little too friendly with her dogs. Stop acting like the fact that I f dogs is a big deal. Literally 9 out of 10 women do it. I'm just the only one brave enough to admit it. 9 out of 10, eh? Uh, those are fighting numbers. Obviously the whole 9 out of 10 number is BS, but I really hope you're just making a joke here, lady. But judging by the things I've seen you do on the internet, um, you're probably telling the truth. And in that case, you need Jesus, girl. Alrighty, you guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this daily dose of cringe. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to support the channel, think about becoming a Patreon or buying some of our merch. You can find links to all of this in the description below. Well, until next time, guys. Peace.